Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told, where the truth of God is exposed, where I pray that your ears, your hearts are open, that this word falls on good, fertile ground, and it bears much fruit for the kingdom of God. I pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I need to talk to you about what you do matters every single day. I know that you think, listen, I told the story a couple weeks ago that I didn't want to go to church. I got up, I was feeling funky, and I didn't want to go to church, and I heard God say, your supply is needed, and I was like... My supply? I said, I'm a greeter. Like, what? And you know the story. I intersected with a woman, and I believe that God used me. And what I said to her may have changed her life. And I'm still in contact with her today. So my point is that your supply is needed. What you do and say and how you act every single day does matter. I want you to understand that we are here today uh, by because of what our parents did or didn't do. Uh, what our ancestors did or didn't do. We are living, you know, what they did echoes into eternity. So what you do, whether you see the consequences or not in this lifetime, will echo into eternity, into your children's 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 children. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is why I think that we need to understand the importance of what we do every day, the choices that we have available to us every single day. I mean, the Word of God is very specific. It tells us uh, life and death. I said before you, life and death. Then God said, just in case you're questioning, choose life. He tells us. He's such a good and wonderful father. Listen, I preach in part because I only know in part. I preach on what I know. And what I know is that God is good. There are so many things that I do not understand and that I don't have an answer for. But you see, I don't debate people because I've had an experience with God. I will just release his word because his word carries power. God follows his word to perform it, right? He says that he's searching the world to perform his word. I'm sorry, honey. So what I do is I release his word and I let him do his job. I don't try to do his job. I was, I, I was guilty of trying to do putting the car before the horse. I don't do that anymore. See, because that's it's tiring and it's not my job. I don't have the power. Uh, it's his power in me, right? It's his glory in me. It's his revelation, right? His spirit that dwells in me. It's all about him. So my life has to point to him. So I pray today that you have revelation on the power of God in your life, that what you do does matter, that if you are a child of God, that you would understand that you represent him. You're an ambassador, baby. You're in this world. You're not of it. You, I pray that you would start to have a kingdom mindset. All right? A kingdom mindset means that you think, act on what the word of God says. And how can you do that if you don't know the word? So it all goes back to the word of God. I pray today that you take some time to get to know the word of God. That the word of God would be revealed to you in such a way that your life would be different. This, this, the word of God has changed my life in such a way that I just want to bring honor and glory to him, which means that there's a lot of things that I used to do that I don't do anymore. I don't want to do it. And the things that sometimes that I do do, that as soon as I realize that it offends or it doesn't bring glory, I remove it from my life. And is it, is it always easy? Absolutely not. But I can do all things, all things through him that strengthened me. So I pray that uh, you just get this in your spirit and then you start to act each day and, and think about your choices that you have Every single day, you have a choice to choose God, to choose life, right? And I pray that you choose life. I pray that you choose Jesus. I pray that you put on peace, that you choose joy, that you choose love, that you choose forgiveness, that you choose love. Because God is love. I love you guys. I am on love lane and peace place where you at. Holla.